Hello, greetings to everyone who is watching uh, this uh, video series of Meditox Uganda. Uh, as you know, at Meditox Uganda, we talk medications, and our interest is to ensure that you get benefits from the medicines you are taking. But not just that, our interest is that the risks that are associated with medication use are minimized. And that is one of my primary duties as a pharmacist, and it's my pleasure to be the chief host of talks at Meditox Uganda. Now, we've noticed that there are advances in technology, there are advances in health, and this means we can live very long, healthy lives. And also this means that you can easily live up to the ages of 60, you can easily live up to age 70, you can live up to 80, you can live up to 90, and I hope me and you live up to 90 years of age and have a long, healthy life. You know, in the past, we used to have diseases which used to kill people. Diseases like pneumonia, now antibiotics can treat them. Vaccination means that people can live long lives. Uh, drugs against hypertension means that there are less strokes and there are less issues of, of heart attacks. And when we talk about heart attacks, this is a particularly personal issue to me because my grandmother succumbed to that. But now with advances in, in healthcare, it means that it means that people can live can live good life. The same with people who have diabetes, where they have insulin, they have drugs which, which control blood sugar. However, it is not all celebrating. Just because they can live long lives does not mean that there are no issues with with drugs. These issues with drugs must be addressed. And thankfully, we have Meditox Uganda where we can talk about this. So, when we are talking medication use among elderly patients, we need to pay attention to some particular things. These things are what we are going to base on to discuss particular details in different videos about medication use among the elderly. One, when you see elderly people, you probably see them wasted in terms of muscle wastage, or you see that their weight maybe has increased. This has an impact on how drugs uh, are used in the body. This has an impact on the effect of drugs in the body, and this is something we pay attention to. And related to that, there are changes in, in, in how body parts function. Their circulatory systems may slow down. This means the speed at which drugs uh, reach the liver and kidney reduces. For your information, the liver and the kidney have unique roles in handling drugs in, in a human body. Moreover, in an elderly person, the, the, functions of, the functioning of the liver and the kidney may change. So, with all these changes happening, we pay attention to, 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 to drugs among the elderly or to medications among the elderly. The other thing you have to think about is, is changes in, 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 in their mental capacities. There's declining memory and it's easy for them to get confused. And all this confusion can lead to errors and mistakes when it comes to medication use. And these have repercussions on the use of drugs among the elderly. The other thing to pay attention to, obviously, is, is the fact that as the older you get, the more conditions you probably are going to suffer from. And if you are suffering from multiple conditions and you have these varying symptoms, it means that you'll have uh, multiple drugs you are taking. The more drugs you take, the more issues you can get from drugs. And if you have issues with, from drugs, you can get adverse drug effects things which may lead to fractures from falling, more confusion, or even symptoms that you may think are new diseases, yet they are related to drugs. Those are three things where we shall hinge our advice on. So I request you to, to follow me and also to look out for the next videos, which will be short segments. This is feedback you've given us that you prefer short segments. We are going to share so short segments with you and discuss particular points you have to pay attention to when it comes to medication use among the older. Thank you very much and look, look forward to, to those video series.